who doesn't contemplate what happens after we die at some point? And, you know, presenting this kind of relatively believable, tangible means of figuring that out is um, very compelling to me, at least, yeah. Her struggle, I think, is a bit different because it's not really about her wanting to become a doctor. I think it's more about living up to the expectation that she has back at home. And Jamie's on, on the surface, I guess it seems a little bit shallow because he just wants to become famous and uh, <laughs> wants to become Dr. Oz and head off to LA. But um, yeah, he, he also is feeling the pressure and wants to establish himself um, and above the pack. And and it's an, it's an intrigue, I think. That's what takes hold of them all is this fascination with the beyond. She's, you know, needless to say, you know, the one that's formulated this idea and uh, and has no, you know, no fear about it. You know, even as she's getting ready for the first time, because this is something she's been working on for, you know, her whole life. And so I think, you know, at first potentially, and then it starts, you know, abs going out of her control. It's fun and it's fast and it's, a, yeah. you know, it's a ride. It's, it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's got everything from the thriller element to a bit of humor and romance to the horror at the end. And we've all agreed it's like a great date movie. Yeah. First and foremost, it's fun. 